Since the age of 10, Ashley Tabling has been suffering from strange symptoms that were wreaking havoc with her body and her self-esteem. Now a gynecologist has put her on birth control pills to manage her excruciating menstrual cycle. At first it seemed to work, and her other symptoms began to disappear. We got rid of the skin tags, the hair started looking better, and everybody thought, hey, look, the doctors were right on the money, and it was a hormonal thing, and she's getting older. So, you know what? She's got a little bit of a weight problem, and we'll just have to deal with that. That's just one more hurdle to get over, and after we get over that, everything is going to be fine. But it was far from fine. At 16, Ashley ballooned to almost 200 pounds. She would get teased, and her feelings would get hurt, and, you know, that hurt me. My father would say to me, you know, sometimes people have a hard time dealing with losing weight on their own, so I cut this out for you, an article um, about a weight loss camp, and maybe what you need is just a little help, a little bit of direction. So I took the opportunity that was handed to me, and I went to weight loss camp. So to certain people, we're like, oh, she's away at dra drama camp. Because <laughs> it's embarrassing. You don't want to tell people, yeah, I'm at the fat farm. Embarrassing though it was, Ashley gave it a shot. We would wake up every morning, and they would have the meals made for us, and then we would go through aerobic workouts. Um, you know, we would play all the same games that everyone played at camp. And you really didn't even notice that you were there to lose weight. And it seemed to work. Visiting day, I drove up with her parents and her sister and brother-in-law. She had muscle tone. She had lost weight. And with those things combined, she looked the best I had ever seen her. I lost close to 60 pounds when I was at camp. I remember my parents coming up on visitor's day to visit me. They didn't even recognize me. I had to go, Mom, it's me. We picked her up. She was so gorgeous and so thin. After going there, being so heavy and so unhappy with herself and so depressed, and I see this bubbly, thin, beautiful girl. See, I'm crying. Every time I think of that story, I cry. For a while, it looked like the healthy eating and exercise habits that Ashley learned at camp had done the trick. But Ashley soon realized the fight had only just begun. When I came back from weight loss camp, it was a constant battle to keep the weight off. Through her college years and into her 20s, Ashley's battle with her weight continued. I would have points where I got extremely heavy, and then I would lose all the weight again. That, I think, was one of the strangest things of all, is that, you know, I would gain weight quickly, but then in the same turn, it would come off like water. It was like, you know, up and down. It was like a Richter scale. It was. It was crazy. We never knew for every six months what closet we were going to be taking clothes out of. I may not have known that there was something seriously wrong with me, but I knew something wasn't right. Ashley did her best to live a normal life. In 1996, she married John Tabling. Three years later, they decided to take the next step. My husband took me out to dinner, New Year's Eve, 1999. He said, I, th I think it's time to have kids. I said, what did you just say? You're kidding me, right? After being on birth control pills for 17 years, I threw them away. It was a decision that would prove devastating for Ashley. After I stopped taking the birth control pills, I noticed I still don't have a menstrual cycle. We've been actively trying to have kids, but nothing's happening. I took pregnancy tests. So I'm not pregnant. Another month goes by. Another two months goes by. Not only do I not have a menstrual cycle, um, but I had put on significant, and when I say significant, I'm not talking 20 pounds. Um, I'm talking close to 100 pounds in weight within a three-month period. It was as if somebody had pumped her up with steroids. It, incredible. I started to notice hair on my chin. Having to deal with having a beard, that's really scary, really scary. After the hair appeared, I was then dealing with acne. I was having these breakouts that I could not control. And then after the acne, um, I started noticing I had skin tags again. And then I started getting dark patches on my arms, under my knees, even under my lip. It looked like I had bruises. And no matter how much I would sit there and scrub and scrub and scrub, it wouldn't come off. 
it's just like everything hit at once with a vengeance. And at that point, Ashley and I both realized that, you know, this is it. Something has got to be done, and we have to find out what's wrong with you. Desperate for answers, Ashley made an appointment with her physician. You know, I said, I don't get it. I said, I went off the birth control pill, and then all of a sudden, all of this stuff started happening to me. You know something? There's nothing wrong with you. It's your hormones. You had a problem before you went on the birth control pill. You just went off the birth control pill. It's everything evening itself out again. I had reached my breaking point. I was pissed. Then in January 2000, just when Ashley had reached her wit's end, she found Dr. Mark Harwood. When I walked in, I was a little taken back because he was very young, and I'm like, oh my goodness, fresh meat right out of school. Am I talking to the right person? Maybe I wanted somebody just a little bit older. What I remember was the frustration that she experienced, and it sounded as if she had um, been through the mill, so to speak. I said, you are going to think that I am a total nut, but I'm just going to tell you like it is, and then you can tell me to either go my merry way or that there's something wrong with me. My usual lead-in question is just, tell me your story. And then she told me kind of what she had been through. I went to the back and looked at the textbook, and basically, you know, there could have been a picture of Ashley next to the polycystic ovary syndrome. I basically photocopied it for her, brought it in, and said, this is what I think is going on. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll run some tests, and we'll learn about this together. In polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, excess insulin causes the ovaries to produce large amounts of the male hormone testosterone, which stimulates the growth of cysts in the ovaries and leads to weight gain, excessive body hair, and irregular periods. The exact cause is unknown, but doctors think it may be hereditary. When I found out what was going on with me, it was bittersweet. I had a name to it. I knew that there was some sort of solution. You're faced with the fact that, yes, you have a syndrome, and yes, there are some physical abnormalities as a result of the syndrome. Having to deal with them does a number on your head. Though her physical ailments had caused her so much grief, the symptom she couldn't see was the most unbearable. He said that a lot of women that have polycystic ovary syndrome have problems with infertility. And I think my heart dropped into my stomach when he said that. Because for as long as I can remember, the one thing that I wanted more than anything else in my life was to be a mother. I really didn't know whether or not she was going to be able to have children. My head was spinning. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. Um, it was just a really crazy, difficult time.